What's the difference between believing and knowing? Because knowing is the highest you can get. And it's actually knowing is beyond the mind, but you can manifest with believing too. So I didn't just believe this had happened. I absolutely knew it. Wow. And I knew it and I knew what it was going to do. And it felt, I knew it so much that I felt like I had already lived the entire journey of making it and it coming out and that I had such a great time. We gotta stop saying we believe in God too. What? That ain't, that ain't good to say. Why? Because when you say you believe, that leave room for doubt. Either well, you know it or you don't. Oh no, I, I, I So know. you know it, ain't no I believe, I know. Oh, I mean, but at the end of the day, you got people that don't believe. That's, 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 that's. So, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he gonna make it. the believers and the non-believers. I don't believe in nothing. I know. I know some things. Oh, I know some things too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I mean. laughs> right. So give me an example so people know I'm not just making this crap up. Well, I mean, just like when I had nothing, I already knew I was driving like Ferraris and Porsches and stuff because I always wanted those cars. I right. al already knew I was going to have them. It was inevitable. Right. I inevitably, you know, that was just my inevitable outcome. But how did you do that? Did you have a ritual? Did you think about it regularly? Was it one time you thought about it or was it something you had an obsession towards? I had an obsession towards it. I mean, yeah. I used to go, I work, used to work at a video store, which is the last job I ever had in my life. Thank God. And uh, I used to go to, to work almost every day and I used to bring two magazines with me to read on my breaks. Entrepreneur Magazine, just to read about business and everything yeah. else and read about what other people are doing, look for role models. And I used to carry an auto trader with me. And wow. I used to look at Porsches that were for sale. Yeah. And people always used to ask me, what are you doing with that Auto Trader magazine? I'm like, well, I'm just picking out the Porsche that I'm going to buy. Right. When I'm, Which probably got you a lot of crap. <laughs> I, I, I did. I, people made fun of me. Sure. I, I actually had a boss at that job tell me, you know, you really shouldn't do that to yourself, John, because it's, it's very, very likely that that is never going to happen. That it's very likely that you, you're never going to have that car. Yeah. That's, that's the kind of belief he was trying to put in my head. And I was like, no, you don't realize that it's, it's inevitable right. that I will drive here at sometime in the near future with that car when I'm not working for you right. and drop movies off for you to put back on the shelf. And is that it, actually happened. And it was one of the most oh, fulfilling days of my entire life. And the great thing was when I pulled up in this car, I was, well, you know, I was in my mid-20s, yeah. a car that most mid-20s. What you kind know, of car was it? It was a Porsche 911 Turbo. It was sure. a convertible and everything. Sure. It was a beautiful car. It was one I went out. Yeah. What I always dreamed rocket. to have. And, but, you know, for a few years, I always circled the ads of which ones I was going to buy. Well, when I finally got it and I pulled up at the store, you know, I had all these people, some people that were still working at this $7 an hour job were there years after I left. And I'll never forget this, even the boss and stuff, and, and the reaction of the people was like, wow, that is awesome. Yeah. Is that your dad's car? <laughs> and all I said to them was, not exactly. Everybody, as you... Do you believe that there is a God? Let's come to this. Before we handle God, let's handle belief first. Why do you believe something? One believes something because they are not sincere enough to admit that they do not know. There are only two ways to be. Either you know something or you do not know something. But whatever you do not know, when you bullshit yourself, it's called as belief. Instead of simply admitting, I do not know, you want to believe something. Somebody believes there is God, somebody believes there is no God. Both are in the same boat. They think they are different, but both of them are not straight enough to admit that they do not know. What is the problem in seeing what I do not know as I do not know? All right, my boys. So this video, I should have been made a long time ago, but there was a certain clip that stood in my mind, bro, that I used before, but I didn't really understand it. Like, I ain't really break it down fully to really what she's talking about, right? The next level from believing is knowing. Like, believing's here, knowing's right here. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm lit. I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna get into a bunch of examples, bro. This video is game-changing for your life, bro, right? So check this shit. This can literally make you move with such confidence in this world, bro, that you really just are different. First video clip, and I don't know what it was that made me stick with this topic for like, this video just kept rendering in my mind. It just kept rendering wherever I kind of went, like just every now and then I always thought back to this video, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where she's like, the next level from believing is knowing. And she didn't really even break it down into depth of like, know, why knowing is like, 
the the like the next level right but like i always kind of start i started to kind of really understand it. it kept like replaying in my mind where i'm like word she's talking some shit like because if you really think about it you believe right you believe and you believe in a lot of certain things, a lot of ideology, a lot of philosophies, you know, within religion, all sorts of things, right? But believe, like, leaves room for, like, error. It, be it leaves room for you to be, like, like, uncertainty when doubt hits and everything like that, right? It leaves room for that. But once you know, once you know, this is the difference between believing and knowing. Knowing is written fact. Like, it's a fact in your mind. Like, this is, like, a fact of who I am or what I do or whatever i believe in this is a fact right there's no room for error this is a hundred percent in my mind i hundred percent believe this shit right check it the clip of t grizzly too bro these clips are like some of the greatest clips i ever kind of really watched right t grizzly he actually talking his shit but gilly don't really understand what he's talking about like he gilly's the other dude the boy headed dude that he's talking to he doesn't really know what he's talking about he just wants a rebuttal he just wants a rebuttal he's like well everyone else in the world you know what i mean there is non-believers and shit right that had nothing to do with it it's just i know that god is real i don't believe that god is real because believe leaves doubt for uncertainty like how he said he said i know that god's real so there is no doubt there is no such thing as like you know what i'm saying when like like uh, other people try to come your way atheists or whatever the fuck nah i don't know what you talk about I know God is real. It's written down. And what she said is like, and in the other clip, what she said was like, it's to the next level where it's like, even not of this world is like, you know it. It's kind of crazy, bro. I'm telling you, right? I'm fucking telling you. He's like, we got to stop talking about God is real or I believe in God, right? It, there's a difference. You're not going to say I believe in God and I know I, I believe in God and I believe that he's real. You're going to say, no, I know God is real. I know he is. I know Jesus is real or whatever you believe in. You know it and you stand 10 toes by it, right? This is why I rock this cross every fucking day. I know that God's real. I, I, I don't believe, I believe in God, but like I know that he's there. I know he's real. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was like eye opening, bro. And, and, and the other clip with my boy, bro, that was one of my favorite clips I even watched from back in the day that I was like on TikTok, right? And I'm on TikTok, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing like the bot scrolling, but I found this clip. It just came out of nowhere. So it's the dude asking him like, yo, how did you come up? Like, what what, what did you do? Did you believe in yourself or whatever, right? And the bro was just like, nah, I already kind of knew everything. I already knew. It's like knew and know is the same word, basically. He was like, I knew I was going to be pulling through with a fucking Porsche 911 or some shit. He's like, I already know I was going to be driving these cars. Like, it, it was inevitable. Listen to his words. It was inevitable. And that's what I've been saying too before, before I knew any of this information, right? As a kid, they used to ask me, the teachers used to ask me, what, what you want to be when you grow up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because I was kind of like the popular kid, I guess. And since I was always in trouble, everyone kind of, not everyone, but a lot of people like looked up to me and shit, right? And especially a lot of my friend groups because I was in trouble and a lot of my other friends started to get in trouble because I was in trouble. So the teacher would put me aside and be like, you know, you got like, you. they follow you. You know that you're like the leader and they follow you. I remember a couple teachers did this. And I'm like, at the time, I'm just like, I don't know what you talking about. I'm just with the homies. Like we in the back of the class, like cracking jokes, flaming each other, everything like that. So we ended up getting kicked out of class, suspended, ISS, in-school suspension, detention, all types of shit, right? So they would pull me aside and be like, you know, you're the leader. I'm like, bro, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know anything you're talking about. These just the homies. This is what we do. I flame you. You laugh too hard, I'm on your ass. Like, we just flaming each other, always in trouble. And she's like, they follow you, you know this? And I'm like, I don't really know what you're talking about, right? And then it will go into a conversation of what do you want to do in your life? What do you want to be? Where do you want to be in five to ten years, right? And I would literally be like, I'm just going to be a millionaire, right? And they're going to, they're asking how, yada, yada, yada. I'm just like, I'm going to be a millionaire. That's just what it is. There was no... No such thing of anything else in my mind, right? And I'm not even at the state of having millions of dollars, but I know what it is. I already been saying this shit. I knew I was going to be lit. I know I'm going to do everything I say I'm going to do because that's what I do. I stand on my word. I know I'm going to be lit. And I also use the level of believing in myself, right? And where I really got this level of believing, where believing is not bad at all. You believe. You know who you are. Well, when you believe, you don't know who you are because no is the 100%, the 110%. That's like the next level. But believing is like the 90%. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm certain. Like, I'm almost there. Like, I'm, I'm certain. I believe in myself, right? But it's like, 
it leaves room for doubt where like those days hit that you get to be depressed or you're sad or you're thinking negative thoughts and you don't want to do what you got to do or, or you don't want to do what you have to do and shit like that, right? That's where that 10% comes in because more times than not, I get those times where I don't want to like, you know what I'm saying, do what I'm supposed to do or like edit sometimes and anything like that, but I know what I need to do in order to get lit. You know what I'm saying? So back before in the past, it used to hit me on the next level where I, I used to get type sad where like or depressed or like those times where the negative thoughts hit you. You know what I'm saying? It's because that 10% of you not believing that or knowing it's not that you know, you're like, you know, you're going to be lit. Like I already knew I was going to be lit on YouTube. I'm going to continuously grow and do what I got to do. And I'm nowhere near lit. Right. But like I'm growing slowly but surely. But I know I'm going to be lit. I already know this. Like, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. Like how bro said, I know it. It's inevitable, right? But when you believe, you still have that era, that room for error of that 10% where those times hit and you may, maybe want to quit and, you you know, you get like a little sad or whatever. Those times now aren't really those times anymore for me because I now know. But before, months ago, uh, even like a year ago when shit was like hitting my YouTube and nothing was growing. I see no progress. Nobody was fucking with me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That shit used to hit a lot back then because I used to second guess and doubt myself. I used to be like, man, are you really going to be lit off YouTube? Are you really going to do this oh, oh, um, for the rest of your life? Are you really going to do this for 10 years? Are you really going to do this? Um, you know what I'm saying? Are you going to listen to everyone else where they're like, yeah, you're not going to be lit or whatever? Like, those times of self-doubt hit because I didn't fully know. You see what I'm saying? I didn't fully know I was going to be lit or do what I got to do. And I'm like, in a way, I'm speaking to existence because I'm not lit yet. But it's like, I know it's inevitable. It's just going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Even back then, I swear on my soul, bro. I swear, if I had my, my uh, yearbook, that's probably with my mom, right? That yearbook of, like, the middle school yearbook, right? What are you going to do by 30 or some shit? You know, like, where you write it down, like, what you're going to do by, like, 30 or, like, 25 or some shit by 30? And do you want to know something crazy? It was, like, what do you want to be by the time you're 25? Or, like, where do you, oh, where do you see yourself by the time 25, right? By, by like, 25 or 30 years old. And this is where my goal came across of why I need to be a millionaire by 25. So, if you watched this video now you know one of my goals in the future you see what i'm saying but and if i'm 21 years old now and i'm nowhere near where i'm supposed to be but i got four more years and i know what the fuck is gonna happen see i know i know what the fuck is gonna happen i don't even speak with that i believe or like that that like that that somewhat like of uncertainty no bitch i know like i know right but that's all you know what i'm saying this is what we kind of discussing in this video bitch i know i don't believe bitch i know you see what i'm saying that's a whole different level of confidence even that you develop right and let me stay on topic real quick and then i'm gonna get into another thing real quick but check it so in that yearbook they're like what, what do you want to be or what do you see yourself by 25 or 30 years old bro since a young and i already knew i was like i'm gonna be a millionaire chilling in a mansion i swear on my soul if i had that fucking yearbook i will show you because i'm not capping bitch i already knew i know this i knew it for a fact like I already knew I was going to be a millionaire. I already knew since I was a young bull. And I'm not even a millionaire yet, but, like, it's going to happen. You see what, bro, with that video, that was one of my favorite videos because it feels like that's me, but just, like, a whole certain different type of person where I already knew what I want to be. Like, I already knew what I was going to do, where he's circling cars, his, his like, Porsches and shit, and other people are telling him, like, nah, don't do this because... You know what I'm saying? It, it might hurt your feelings because that shit may never happen. Bitch, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm going to do. I know because I I know what I'm going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know your reality. Don't try to put that reality on someone else because it's dream crushing for people and heartbreaking for the people who do not stand 10 toes down on what they believe and what they know. You know what I'm saying? 90% is believing and then that the extra 10, 100, I'd say 100%, uh, 10 is knowing. Like, that's past 100%. It's like, I know what's going to happen. I know my life. I know who Patrick is. You know what I'm saying? This shit gets so deep. You know what I'm saying? So even when I was a kid, I know this was going to happen. I knew all of this was inevitable. It's inevitable. That word stuck with me. It's inevitable, bitch. I know what's going to happen. I have God with me. You know what I'm saying? I know what's going to happen in a way. You know what I'm saying? But like you, you written it off. It's like a contract that you sold to yourself where it's a fact. 
the like the believing is not a fact yet it's not it's nowhere near a fact knowing is the hundred percent fact of bitch i know what's going to happen i know what i'm going to do i know my life like for instance i can use this example of hitting the gym i know i'm going to hit the gym till like i'm 70 like i know this for a fact like ever since i started the gym i really never stopped i what what will make me stop if i turn to a bitch no that's not going to happen you know what i'm saying this i know what's going to happen you see bro it's so deep like Oh, I should have made this video such a long time ago. And now that I really know this information, you just like believing is level one. Level 10 is knowing. You know what I'm saying? Not even. Believing is there too, but it really leaves that room for uncertainty and doubt to come in and creep up on you. But if you know it's a fact, I know I'm him. I know I'm that guy. I know I'm one of the ones. I know I'm going to be late. I know this. It's just going to happen. I know I'm going to be late or whatever it is whatever you might be doing i know i'm like if i hit the gym i'm going to get stronger and i'm going to get bigger i know what's going to happen i know my physique is going to get bigger and better that you know this it's a fact it's written off if i hit the gym for 10 years i know i'm going to get bigger if i do youtube for 10 years i know i'm going to grow a fan base and get lit i know this it's inevitable of what's going to happen you see what i'm saying i know this it's not that i believe it i know it bitch I know it. <laughs> it's a whole different story. Like, I'm telling you, bro, right? I'm, I'm going to drop a little ism for you in this video, right? So, let, let me talk about that ism shit because I'm making a little podcast. Uh, I said podcast. A little Patreon on some rule books of life that you guys got to really, like, you got to fuck with. The information I'm leaving in that, that Patreon is going to be top tier. Like, I'm telling you. So, just wait on it. I know I've been saying it. But you got to really wait on it because I'm putting in mad work. And now I'm back on my, like, monk mode shit for real because I had to go back home for some certain things, some type of bullshit. Well, it wasn't bullshit, but I had to go back home for, like, five days, and it took me off of my YouTube. But even on those five days, I still posted a good amount. You see what I'm saying? But Because I had videos, like, on top of videos ready. But, you know what I'm saying? This is where my absence came in. And also, my computer and my storage was fucked up, right? But let's get right back into it. So, what the ism, right? This is a quick little, you know what I'm saying, with like the pimp game, right? Like, because y'all might not, not know what the ism is, but like, it's a way and belief of like the way that you maneuver in your life, right? So the pimps, you know what I'm saying, they don't believe that they're regular humans. They don't believe that they're regular people within this world. They don't believe that shit. Do you know what they believe, right? They believe that they're God, that they're fucking God on earth. And this is what make women gravitate towards them because of their confidence that they and that their confidence that they withhold within them and they know who they are and they don't believe that they're God. They know that they're God. They know that they're the king. They know that they're the best of the best in this world. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I don't believe I'm God because I, I won't even like take God away from me. I love God. I would never try to take say that I'm God, but I know I have God within me, the Holy Spirit, of course. But I'm a king. I know I'm a king. I know it. It's a difference. I don't believe I'm a king, bitch. I know I'm a king. You know what I'm saying? It's it's 100% factual, right? So I'm a maneuver how a, a fucking king maneuver, right? But it's because they know that they are God on earth. They really believe and know that they're God on earth. They are 100% different from any human being walking around this earth. They look because think about the hierarchy of God. God is the highest of the world, of anything in this world, into the outer world, into like heaven and hell. God is the number one, right? Then what's second? Like in this real world is then the king, right? I won't like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a king because I won't disrespect God, you know what I'm saying? But I believe I'm a king. I know I'm a king. I don't believe I'm a king. I know I'm a king, right? And then there's like the nobles, the knights, then the like the hierarchy goes down to the slaves and everything, the peasants, all of that. They look like the king is looking down upon humans you see what i'm saying like other humans because the king has the power god in a way is the highest of the highest we literally bow down to god we pray to him whenever it is you know what I'm saying we got going on we pray to god we bow down to god the only person i bow down to is god you the only person that i fear or the only you know what i'm saying the only thing i fear is god you see what i'm saying so I know in my belief, I know that God is there and I know, I know who he, like, I know he's real. I don't believe in him. I know he's real. It's a hundred percent difference. You see what I'm saying? And with the ism, they believe the, with the pimp game, they, be, they don't believe, they know that they're God. They maneuver like a God. And this is what grab makes women gravitate towards them. They believe and look down. They look down upon, they don't look down upon humans of like 
in a way of like you're a slave you're a peasant you're a bitch you're you're a noble you're not better than me no it's not like that it's like they know and they they know who they are but they just gravitate as if they are just better than everyone and what do women want in a way they want the best of the best so they gravitate towards him he's the king it gets no better than this because he doesn't believe he's a king he knows he's a king it's a whole different level but even with the ism it goes hand in hand they don't believe that they're god they know that they're god because believing is 90 percent. it leaves room for fault and error if you ever look at a pimp he will go like oh for 50 like when i'm talking about like hollering that woman like where he he trying to get bitches numbers and shit he'll go oh for 50 but it will never hinder his confidence of who he is he's still gonna pop out like he's that dude because he knows he's that dude you see what i'm saying it is special in a way he will go over 50 with women bro that would hit the ego that would hit the you would think it hit the ego to these people or like their confidence levels no he's still maneuvering that day in the day out of still going up to bitches every single day trying to get a new bitch you see what i'm saying it doesn't affect their confidence either they know who they are so even if this bitch dubs him, 50 bitches dub him, he knows that, okay, I'm still going to go and try, I'm going to still go and attract more women and get more women in my life because I am him. I know I am God, basically. They really believe and know that they're God. Kind of, they don't, but like they believe that they're God. You see what I'm saying? Like they don't believe that they're regular humans. They don't believe it because he does something that the regular human beings, the regular guy would never understand of like, he gets like five, 10, 15, 20 women to work basically the work is get fucked by other people other guys and he gets the money all towards him they bring the money towards him like he's the king like he orders go ahead from this time at this time you're gonna go do work and you're gonna bring me that motherfucking money it is different it is a hundred percent different and this is why i'm making that whole patreon because as i'm learning i know this fucking game it's not that i believe or i think i know i know this from the fucking game it's crazy i understand how the dynamics of humans work you know what i'm saying so that's why you don't believe like i made videos on the power of believing yes it is high believing is higher than than just like you know what i'm saying all the other emotions kind of thing because it leads you up there in the hierarchy of like emotions of like happy sad whatever it is i believe you know what i'm saying it's a good emotion to feel that you believe but as i know it's written off it's a fact it's it's different it i it's written off i know i'm going to be lit i know all like everything that's like going to happen within my life kind of thing because i'm the one in charge of my life and i got god with me so i know i'm going to be lit that type of power it is different yo and even the number one show that got me to like understanding a little bit about believing and it rose my emotion every time i watch the show want to know what show it was it was naruto that's why i say for anybody like growing up like if you're watching like you want to watch a show even if you're watching anime go watch naruto or like even on uh, one piece these main characters they believe in themselves and they kind of know the future of what's going to happen naruto from the second episode i got hooked because he was a down bad kid in the trap, like in the tre trenches. Nobody fucked with him. No one liked him. He didn't have a mom or dad. No one took care of him. No one looked after him. Everyone spat on him. No one fucked with Naruto. You know what I'm saying? He was like the knucklehead that I was in like school where he's he, he's fucking up shit. He's, you know, that the, the kid who's not good at school and shit like that, right? And no one fucked with him. But I like he had this one goal. Of becoming the hokage which is like the number one like the, the best ninja like the best fighter if you want to say the best fighter within the village that's a person that's like the president of the village like bitch i command everything i'm that dude you know what i'm saying i'm the best of the best in this motherfucker and that was his goal and i remember him saying like nah motherfucker watch i'm gonna be hokage you know what i'm saying i know i'm gonna be hokage believe it he would always say believe it motherfucker. like believe it but I, I throw in the motherfucker like believe it motherfucker you know what i'm saying like you better believe it because that was his goal he believed in himself and he like you know what i'm saying believing was like that level of 90 percent. then the i knowing is the, the 100 110 percent. it's past 100 percent, and this is beautiful but day in and day out that show he was putting in all the work he was training you know what i'm saying it showed how he came up from the mud nobody fuck with him and then he ended up slowly getting stronger than mostly everyone and then everyone started to fuck with him as he got older as like a teenager then he got his goal to becoming the whole kage because bitch he really was the strongest out of these motherfuckers in the village nobody could fuck with him no one and it shows like from that show it shows about all of the hard work that you need to do and put in 
so that you can get to where you want to be without the doubt, without all of the negative things happening. Once you know there's no more doubt, there's nothing, it's 100% facts. You can skip all of like the down bad times because once you truly know who you are, your goals, you know what's going to happen, you know you're going to be lit, you have a plan and you know that this plan is going to work. You can leave all of that doubt. The doubt won't happen no more. You know what's going to happen. You know if I continuously work and hit the gym for 10 years straight, I'm going to get bigger. If I hit, I do YouTube for 10 years straight, I know I'm going to get lit. I know it, bitch. It's no doubt. It's no, uh, maybe one day uh, I feel sad and, you know, like, you know, like how I used to feel where I feel all negative and, like, I let, like, the time sometimes, like, fuck me up a little bit. I remember that times. I remember those times of being, like, more sad and everything like that. But once you know, all of that is scrapped out like it's garbage. It, it, it is no more of that. I know. You know what I'm saying? And... Even to go into this, like, I'm, I'm gonna leave a, a, this video, the the video before this, you must watch that video. It's about me and my cousin kind of going back and forth about, like, reality and, like, to never let other people change your reality because they can't see what you see. Truly, watch that fucking video, right? But a little bit to go into it. Me and him, this just happened, too, so this is why I'm talking about it. Me and him and our belief systems are complete different, but my belief system is now changing to i know i know my system i know everything about it i know what's going to work i know what's going to get me to from point a to point b you know he's talking about like kind of trade school like you know what i'm saying my mom's mentioning like college i'm in front of all the homies and my my uh i'm in front of two of my homies my two sisters and my mom and they're like poking me like the bear like they know me because they know what's going to happen you see how you know what's going to happen if you keep poking patrick I, they know i was going to turn the fuck up and I went straight into like video mode where I'm like just spitting my shit where like in a way I could be very offensive. And this is where I didn't want to like be. I didn't want to keep getting poked. But bitch, stop poking me. Now I'm tight. Like now I'm turned. So I turned the fuck up and I went into straight video mode of like my belief system because I know my belief systems are right. I know what it is. I trust me. I've done the research and the information and I'm giving it to you guys because I know that this shit is right. This shit works. This is the way. You dig what I'm saying? I know this shit. So when someone is in your way of like knowing and it's the complete opposite, you get a little like I'm going to keep it a beam. Like I got a little triggered where I'm on that. I'm on everything you say because now it goes against everything I believe in. I know all of my belief system. I know my belief system. But now he's trying to tell me something else. And in a way, it's not like that you can't challenge your belief system. I do that all the time. But it's more so about... It's more so about you sticking to one and knowing it because that's going to give you the most confidence within your life anyways. But since you really gathered the information like I did, I gathered the information of how the millionaires work, what they do. And I consistently do this on a day to day basis. So listening to someone who's not a millionaire, it's not beneficial for me. It's not telling me to go to school or go to like trade school or whatever or college. That's not the wave, bro. It's not because I'm listening to other millionaires. Do what they love and make millions of dollars. That's the way I want to go. That's my pathway. So me and him, like, like kind of just going back and forth. And it gets a little heated, but we're not, like, about to fight or anything. It was just more so just, like, a good argument, a good agree-to-disagree debate type shit. But then, in a way, I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings because my belief systems are completely different. They're to the next level of, like, of human i guess you know what i'm saying like the bare minimum of what a human does it's like they deserve like they think they deserve a pat in the back of like oh yeah you hit the gym or you know what i'm saying oh you take care of yourself oh you got your own apartment whatever like that's level one you know what i'm saying like in my eyes that's level one but then you know what i'm saying that way of me saying like bitch that's level one like you should like that's already like supposed to happen it can totally affect someone because they think that they're doing something that's like out of the ordinary but then when you kind of meet a real killer and what I want to be is really be a real killer. Like a, one of them ones who really does this, makes this money, who inspires people, but like really is different in a way. The killers don't waste time. They don't, they look at the peasants. They look at peasants as peasants. Like they don't know no better. Like listening, if a millionaire were to listen to what he was talking about, he would look at him just like, that's bare minimum, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, like it's just I don't have that degree of a million dollars to say to tell these people it's the value that they don't value me yet because I do not have that million. But like I always said in my video, once I pull through with that vet, then everyone's going to understand. Then they're going to want to acquire the knowledge that I have. But if you're not seeking for it, if you do not want the information or knowledge, it's it's, it's always going to be there for you. But they don't value it. it goes one ear in and out the other. You dig what I'm saying? So 
I, I, me and him, I know my belief system. I know it because I literally listen to millionaires all day. So I get what they get. Like they give me their game and I take that game in. So when I'm hearing the bare minimum shit of like life, I'm like, this is level one. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that can totally crush another human being because they really think that they're doing something different. And not saying that like he was on some level one shit, but it was more so of like, See, this is where it does get offensive because I was doing that when I was like 17. You know what I'm saying? Like everything he kind of mentioned, I did that when I was 17. And if I were to blatantly say it like that, it's going to crush someone. You know what I'm saying? So I had to hold back a little bit. And I was, but I went into video mode. Like you see how I'm spitting right now? I went into video mode and I do not want to see myself as higher, but I am higher and I know, but like, because I don't think like everyone else. I think outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? I have my pathway. I listen to millions. I'm following that pathway. I'm not following the pathway of the regular bot human being type shit. Where go to college, go to school, yada, yada, yada. You, like other people, go do that. If you're watching this video, especially to the end of this video, bro. Understand, this pathway kind of isn't for us. If you really made it to the end of this video, this pathway isn't for you. Of like a college, regular shit. You know what you want to be. You know you want to do what your heart desires. That's a beautiful thing. That's my philosophy. I want to do what my heart desires. I love to do YouTube, so I'm doing that. I love to hit the gym, so I does that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, after this video, bitch, I'm going to hit the gym. I got weighted pull-ups today. I got back and biceps, bitch. I know what I'm doing. I know my pathway. I know it. I know if I do something for long enough, I will be lit. I will get better. You will progressive overload. It's inevitable, like how bro said. It's inevitable. I felt like that was me in a whole certain body. Because the way he was spitting, I know I understood every fucking thing. Every little thing, dude. Like, I'm telling y'all. So, the next level from believing. This is probably, I hope this video just gets 100 billion views. So that they can understand this way of, I don't believe no more. I know. He said, what he said? He said, bitch, I've been lit. I've just been waiting for y'all to catch up. I've been lit. I've been knew who I was. I know Patrick. He's one of the greatest. I know it. I'm just waiting for y'all to catch up. You see what I'm saying? It's just, it might take a little time for y'all, but like, you're going to start to realize and analyze and be like, damn, he's spitting. Like, damn. You see what I'm saying? And in a way, you are on a pedestal. You do view yourself as greater, but I, I believe, I'd rather hear my people say it or my fans like believe in themselves as greater and higher because it's only going to let you do greater and higher things in life that's it if you believe like the regular like joe schmo regular ass advice shit then you're just going to be that you see what i'm saying it's all of what you consume go watch that video too bitch i said it's all about what you consume i consume the millionaire shit it's good they're gonna lead me on a pathway to be a millionaire you you listen to like the bot shit, like even like just brain dead shit of like, no, you can't do this. You can't do that. You're going to have that same belief systems as them. Of like, I can't do this because 99 or 90% of people can't do it. 90% of people don't even want to put in work. I'm already so on the day to day life of produ being productive. I kind of already passed 80 to 90% of people. And I do not like to say this because it makes me look like a fucking dickhead. But if you knew what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, you would understand me. You really would. And these people don't understand, so you do not fault them. You see what I'm saying? Bitch, you don't believe you know, right? So I love y'all, bro. This was... I needed this video. This video was beautiful to me. I love this video, bro. Like, this is a whole different level of viewing life. You know. You don't believe you know what's going to happen. You After doing years of the gym, you know you're big. After doing years of YouTube, you know you're going to get better and grow a fan base and get lit. It's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? So I love y'all, bro. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, bro. And leave it in the comment section that you've made it to the end. Because this is a whole different type of video. And I'm so happy I made this video, man. This shit, I've been itching to make videos, bro. But, bro, I've been sweating. Yo, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. But I have some shit going on. But now I'm back on my roll. And uh, that kind of pisses me off. Because even then, I'm... It took me off of my monk mode, but it is what it is. You don't dwell over pussy shit. You just tighten the fuck up and get right back on to what your pathway is, right? So I'm about to go on this motherfucking monk mode and really be on the discipline to it. And I'm going to leave my last video right here. Bro, watch this fucking video. Game on top of game. Real shit. Knowledge. None of you don't come to my channel for bullshit, TikTok shit, or, you know what I'm saying, like bot fucking uh, motherfucking prank videos. You're going to watch some shit that's going to elevate you as your mind, as a human, to become greater. You see what I'm saying? So I love y'all, bro. And um, I'm making that Patreon. I'm always saying this shit, but I'm making that Patreon. And that shit's in the work, bro. Real shit about the ism. So, you know what I'm saying? The pimp game to really understand that. But that gem that I left in this video, 
that's fire but i go over it on a whole different level in that you know what i'm saying in my patreon so make sure to watch out for that and, and if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me i'm gonna leave it in the description below so stay yourself stay 300 and whatever you do with life trust me i believe in you bro